probably the most poorly run episode I've ever done. Uh, not these guys' fault, it's my fault. Uh, Big Chat was giving me some issues. Uh, do you have any... You know, if you want to put that on was, mute so was, we can watch the comments, that'd be great too. I was, uh, yeah. Let me do that. That'd be fantastic. Uh, guys, welcome to Rank You Very Much. Uh, we're only doing Facebook Live. Big Chat was giving me a lot of issues and my computer was giving me a lot of issues. So we're holding off and we're just doing it through Facebook Live today on Rank You Very Much. Um, I don't care for my theme songs, we're doing this from my phone, in my house, and behind me as always is the list of things, because today's episode, folks, is Best Game, game Show! Shows. Woo! Thanks, Dwight. Uh, I'm your host, sharing. Joe Bates. Sharing now. You're sharing? Oh my gosh, thank you so much. I wish I would have made it public. Uh, <laughs> that's on me. <laughs> that's I, I, I always do it on oh, private. Yeah. Yeah. Why do you do that? I, I don't like people knowing things about me. Anyways, guys, you might be wondering, who's our guest experts today for Best Game Show? Uh, to the left of me, uh, Aaron Carr, folks. Hello. What makes you a guest expert? Um, on a good day, I average watching between four and six game shows a day. That is uh, pretty solid. It's pretty solid. Is that a lot of like lingo and chain reaction? No, it's. I got my tops. You got your tops. Okay. Well, hopefully they're on yeah. the list. Uh, to the right, as a cat. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey. To the right of me. What kind of game show? This is Dwight Simmons, folks. Uh, Dwight, hey, what, do you, what, what makes you an expert for game shows? Uh, well, I am uh, on the council for uh, minority relations. Oh, uh, all gotcha. And so this will be the most woke episode of <laughs> Rank You Very Much. Now, woke is that a sleeping term? That is a uh, that's a black term. Wow, I learn something new yeah. every day. Uh, just a reminder, uh, we are sponsored by Trump's America. Uh, I don't know if that's the right time to say this, but. Yeah. Yeah. We don't. I'll talk. So, so it's everything <laughs> else right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But uh, guys, thank you so much for watching. Best game show, and uh, behind me is the list. The list of best game shows we're ranking today on Rank You Very Much is Price Is Right, Survivor, Amazing Race, Jeopardy, Match Game, Wheel of Fortune, Supermarket Sweep, Let's Legends of the Hidden Temple, Double Dare, Press Your Luck, Let's Make a Deal. Family Feud, Hollywood Squares, and The Weakest Link. Goodbye. That's the slogan. <laughs> <laughs> Expert. So, <laughs> uh, no, that's actually one of the whitest shows. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, uh, believe me, I know. That's why I'm not on the air. So, <laughs> when you guys are ranking, uh, when you guys are going to have the best game show, what's your criteria, Dwight? What, 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 what makes a, a game show the best? Uh, I like to be on the edge of my seat. I like to know Science. what's going on, not um, too much going on. Interesting. Yes, and uh, the excitement of the participants. I see. If so, I get, like someone's, if I can feel <laughs> someone's anxiety, then I can go about my day. That's so, a good game show. So, uh, contestant joy, simple rules, mm -hmm. and suspenseful. Yes. Okay, that makes sense. Aaron, how about you? I would say. Do they win something good? Like, is it something? Is, are they going to win something that's going to change their life in some way, or be, yeah. be really like a good prize? You know. Gotcha. That's one. <laughs> Two. Yeah. Um, is there something slightly ridiculous about the game show? Something that you're like, what? It's what a little this? over the top. Yeah, a little over the top. And three, is it something that actually takes skill? There's some skill involved. I see. Yeah. Okay, so that that makes sense. So just you're not just getting lucky. No luck in Aaron Carr's world. I mean, sometimes, but I prefer skill. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm looking at you, press your luck. And uh, <laughs> oh, I that. <laughs> that I, I, for me, my criteria is the fact that it, it, it's uh, and I, you know I was talking to my brother earlier today is uh, multifaceted. Mm. Is there different aspects of the game? You know, is it is it is it just answering questions? Well, is there more to that? Uh, I, I like that aspect, and uh, just, just if I, if, you know, enjoyment. You know, I know you like like what the contestants are going about. Yeah. I kind of like seeing them fail. Okay. I like the right. failure yeah. aspect of game shows oh, because yeah. I, I I hate my life every every, every day. Is that that's uh, sadistic? Is it? Yeah. So that's where we disagree. 
<laughs> uh, that's where we disagree. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sadism? Is it? Yeah. Yeah. So what are, what are the comments of? Uh, uh, what the hell is behind Joe? Oh, that it's, would be a, it's the list of, of, yeah. of, uh, of items. That's yeah. what's behind it's it. His, yeah. It's his evil aura. Actually. Oh, there's there's the guy here? Yeah. Ah, oh, sweet. Perfect. That'd be I'm very, I'm a very private person. Yeah, I know. Does Joe have a tail or is there it's an the animal? Cat. No, I have a tail. And there's this also is both things, really. The cat, yeah. this is a cat and I have a, I have a tail. This is a, now the cat's <laughs> podcast. Now, it's a, it's podcast. Oh, it's, po- <laughs> it's a podcast. I can't believe I've had so many things of this. I've never said podcast before, so I'm right. feeling great. You're welcome. I'm, I'm the new Mark Marin. And, uh, <laughs> but today, uh, folks, we're going to start off with everyone's favorite round, the veto round, and as always, we start with the youngest person here, Aaron Carr. <laughs> yes. What, what, to you, what game show on here is not the best game show? Uh, I would take off, um, Survivor. Survivor? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Are you taking off Survivor? I know, this is something Good I tried job. to bring up, and I thought I'd just save it. I think a game show should be played on a single set. Like, it's, it, it, that's a reality show to me, with well, a game that, show aspect. I know. seems like a lot of prejudice. What happened to the bit chat feed? Uh, the bit chat feed, uh, Dan, didn't work. Uh, bit chat wasn't working. It wasn't going up. Uh, I, I went to go live. It wouldn't let me do it. So mm-hmm. I apologize again, guys. We're doing Facebook Live today. Yeah. I know. And uh, a call back to earlier, you've been silenced because this is Trump's America. Is that what happened? That's exactly what happened. Well, so we no get, bit chat. We got you on the show. And Next thing I know, crash, yeah. bit chat. And a yeah. woman. Oh and my God! Right. right, there are no uh, coincidences. Dare I say I'm the most progressive person in the history of the world? You dare say, you that? say that? Yes. You do have a tail. <laughs> you, have a tail. <laughs> you are half cat. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you're taking Survivor off because it's not it's not what you believe the standard format of a game. Wow. For, for me, I know. Did I knew it would be a bold move, and I'm happy it to come out swinging with it because <laughs> to me it's a reality show with a game show bent. Right, gotcha. but you can't just sit down and play Survivor. You well, know, I did not Survivor the board game, and God damn it. Uh, I played. Well, it put my it fa- back on. I played with my family, and my mom won. Did you oh, all die? Oh, well, I can't vote my mom out. Yeah. He said Survivor sucks ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, people but, are listening. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, so I, I see what you're saying. I understand your point. Uh, I've always enjoyed Survivor. I haven't seen it in a while because I don't have cable no more. Yeah, but uh, I, I, I anymore. Know. Yeah. You, oh, is it anymore? It is, you double negative house. Oh, oh <laughs> my gosh. It is. Welcome to the podcast. <laughs> podcast. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> this show is just yeah. a, a, a haberdashery. Yeah, uh, we this... sell hats. Uh, <laughs> Uh, okay. This show is sponsored by Black Cat Tobacco. <laughs> Black Cat Tobacco. <laughs> when you want to smoke and be unlucky. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. That's my brother making a triumph the insult comic job reference <laughs> right. from when Richard Hatch was on Conan O'Brien. Just so you know, that's the kind of reference my viewers will <laughs> go with is right. early 2000 references. <laughs> Which, <it's> like, <laughs> everyone's reacting to the. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> we're taking off Survivor off the list. Right. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't make. Uh, it doesn't make Aaron feel good about how she feels about game shows. No Survivor. It also. No it, Survivor. I can't. Survivor is a multi-episode show. Right. right? I can't right. just sit down for a quick. Fix. Right. That is a great yeah, that point. Is Thank great. you. How do you feel point. about the Destiny Child song Survivor? Well, I love that song. Okay. I can listen to it once and go. Or I can listen to it over and over. You asking this kind of stuff the rest of the entire show? It's important to me. (laughs) Uh, I I, I think it's important to our viewers as well. Well, you know, they will survive. And, uh... Yeah. You you know what I did? Yeah, Yeah, I got it. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, Once I was a a, a, a man, I was petrified. Yep. Once you were a man, then you were petrified. <laughs> you were petrified. <laughs> yeah, this is it's petrified. Uh, the 2017 version. Is that what we're doing? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, Dwight, you're up next. What are you taking off the list? I'm taking off. Uh, press your luck. Mm-hmm. Press your luck. Oh my God! Wow. I can tell you, you're gonna see a lot of hating oh. from this person in two seconds. Press your luck. Why are you taking press your luck off so early? Because I don't even know what the hell. It oh, is. it's whammy. Whammy. The whammy. Don't know what that is. You either. don't know the whammy. I don't know what a whammy is. Oh my gosh! It was a game. There was a bunch of screens, and they go, dun, 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 and you go, no whammy, 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 and then you hit the button, and, and it would stop. And, and then you get like a five hundred dollars. Okay. 
But if you got a whammy, you lose all your money. And then, like, okay. a little devil would and break dance. Yeah, and then they'd they'd break take break all dance. your money. Yeah. You'd be like, nothing in the money. Okay. And then, but then, then, also, on top of that, there was a guy in the old version of it. They, they he no, memorized version, I was going to well, tell you about okay. that. Yeah, he, he memorized the pa- ice cream ice cream truck driver. Memorized okay. the pattern that the lights were doing. He watched the show so much and memorized it. He won, like, how hundred Over $100,000. $100,000 oh, $100, in, like, Early nineties. Okay. And they investigated and decided that it's not cheating to just to know memorize. What, yeah, to memorize it. So right. they got the money. Yeah, he broke the system. So he now that I know system. what it is, uh, I stand behind my decision. Oh, oh, no oh, whammy, oh, whammy, no whammies. Oh, no oh. whammies. I'm sorry, pressure luck. Uh, that, uh, this is, that was a quick, a quick out. Mm. Ah, <laughs> pressure luck, not today. <laughs> oh, it got yeah. whammy. Whammy. Pressure luck. I really didn't want. Gone. I really didn't want whammy to, you know, make it to the next round. But I, I, obviously, you yeah. yeah that's it, why you, 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 like, you have a problem with the word whammy? I do now. <laughs> <laughs> a whammy. Uh, whammy. <laughs> I'm more of a wham fan. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that guy's got to get so many girls. And. Um, <laughs> Uh, all right, I'm up next. I'm gonna be taking one off. Uh, man, they're all very good. I I'm gonna take off the weakest link. Ah! I'm taking off the weakest Why? link. Why? Because there's no way it's winning. Do you feel like it's the weakest oh, link? Oh, I feel like I feel like it's the weakest link of the fact that it lasted for maybe four seasons, four years. Wasn't that interesting? It was the catchphrase of. It's time. Yeah, it was a it was a catchphrase for a time. Yeah. Goodbye. You don't have who wants Good. to be a millionaire up here. No one wanted it. I asked particularly people like we hate that game. <laughs> yeah. And I, I mean, know like it five makes you people feel have been stupid. on it. I know more people have been on. Who, I don't know. I know seven people have been on who wants to be a millionaire. And Re- I, what? Yeah. Seven. Like did they get to the main chair? Yeah. You know seven people who made the main chair. John Colby, John Colby's wife, and still Steve broke. Gablin, um. What's his name? Pat McDaniel. Why aren't they watching this show? Um, <laughs> there was, uh, I at least know five. What's the biggest winner? Um, I had three friends who were on in the last two or three months. And really? One, yeah. Isn't that weird? Mm, and, that's crazy. And one of them, I know one, they stopped at the 20,000. One of them did. One of them tried to go on. Steve Gadlin, shout out, who was on Shark Tank. And He's on they, Shark Tank and Weakest Link? Is he doing, is he doing no, a tour? No. Shark yeah. Tank and who wants to be a millionaire? Yeah. I mean, yeah. We have a comment from uh, Dan Bates. Whammy <laughs> is the catchphrase that lasted the entire time. Was it was an anchor man. Yeah. Whammy. Oh, yeah. okay. Was it from that show? I, it's just yeah, the guy saying well, whammy. I think so. I think he just kind of, that's where they got it from. I know it from Anchorman. Yeah, well, pressure level before Anchorman. Well, that's why it's off the show. <laughs> that's why it's off yeah. the show. Uh, that's why it failed. Um, okay, so I, anyway, people I, hate who wants to be a letter. That's all I was. The weakest link. All right, I'm taking it off. Here's the deal. Right. I like this the is, I like the insult. Straight I like, anarchy. I like the voting. You took pressure luck, and you took survivor off early. We're all living on the edge here. I'm okay? fine with it. I, I believe you. <laughs> it's it, it, weakest link versus Price is Right. Not better. Weakest link Family Feud. Not better. Weakest Link versus Amazing Race, not better. Consistently, not better, not better, not better. So Weakest Link off the you are goodbye. You are uh, off my list. Whammy, <laughs> whammy. Oh. Your torch has been snuffed. Um, this is already the worst day of the week for me. Really? Saturday? The Weakest Link is gone. That's good. You had a good week. If Saturday is the when, worst day of the week. When's the last time you watched the Weakest Link? Um, worst day of the Weakest Link. I don't think I ever watched a full episode. Okay, oh, well, then that's, all right. Know. You can no, jump off the balcony. Now. I mean, she <laughs> <laughs> yeah. host that ass. Though. You can <laughs> host that ass. No, Wasn't host she that in, like, ass. A German robes. Yeah, but you can you... catch catch me outside. How about how about? <laughs> <laughs> Is it Angela Merkel? Is how about that? How about how about that? How about, how about that? <laughs> catch me outside. Yeah. How that's, about that? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> That's how I ended my hosting set. I go to two shows Saturday. If you like the show, tell your friends. If you didn't like it, uh, catch me outside. How about that? How about that? <laughs> you can't even do the voice. Exactly. Yeah, it's yeah. perfect. Both, and the best part is both crowds both had the same response. And it was, oh! They <laughs> all, like, all hands went up. Everybody, anyone, old and young. Did they just, catch you outside? Yeah, nobody caught me. I stayed inside. Yeah. You're more like <laughs> Dr. Phil where he's like, 
Get you out. So what does that? What, what does, does that mean? mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's like she'll fight out. She'll she'll catch you outside. <laughs> and take it to task. Yeah, you don't. You know, I'll that. flip you again. That was the weirdest part. Like right after that, that's the part nobody talks about. Where the lady, yeah. I'll flip you like I did in the green room. I'm like, wait, <laughs> <laughs> oh, what that, happened? You're her mom. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think she's got other problems. <laughs> you're probably accurate. <laughs> that girl was a little bit. How about that? And, uh, that. okay, we're going to continue down the list here. Aaron Carr, uh, we're doing three rounds of meetings because we have so many today. Aaron Carr, who you, uh, who this you... Is gonna hurt more? Guess what I'm going to take off? I know what you're going to do. She's following up with the, her same principle. Uh, Amazing Race? Motherfucker. It's such a good show. A, a great show! Hey! It's so good. I think that their <laughs> Westworld hey, is a great show. Direct message me for Not Aaron's address a <laughs> for hate mail. Show. And death threats <laughs> because this is ridiculous. That's I mean this it's, is getting it's so good. It's I would never know what Malaysia is about without the Amazing Race. Is there an episode that just tells you what Malaysia is about? They go through Malaysia. What's Malaysia stuff. about? <laughs> What's Mal- and they go yeah. hey look at I'm like well, I'm forward these two towers. Oh those are nice towers. I don't watch Discovery Channel. I don't watch uh, the Learning Channel. I don't watch all this knowledge shows. You watch the Amazing Race. I watch the Amazing Race. All right. Well, uh, then. When you do best reality show, you can just put it right <laughs> up on there. All right, amazing uh, race off the list. Uh, At least they have principles. I always want. Have, that's the one show I really want to go on. And that's something I don't think we talked about. Is like you would be great watching the show or going on it. Well, me and my brother are going to do it. You guys would be great. And we would Dan Bates. We catch me outside. How about that? <laughs> so, catch, catch no one did. Just talking. My brother said you have no one take her. I know. I see. Talking I'm watching. Oh, we're all watching yeah. you our think own I'm not show. Watch the comments. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> you are the first host to do this, by the way. Other hosts just relied on me to do all this stuff, so I appreciate it. No, uh, we don't our first guest, you. sorry, I said host. I got you. Guest. Thank you so much. You guys are fantastic. Uh, you guys have more integrity in in, in the in the in the in the in the, in the, do it. In the nail of your thumb. You should bail on this. Then you then, should then, just, I, let's just then move on. You uh, then you, you should just bail then, on this bit. You know. Yeah. Uh, it's it's amazing, amazing Race is off the show. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to go on it. You know, we were going to go on it. We planned on it. We actually put, we filled out the application, and then last second, we're like, we're not driving up to Dallas. This is extremely stressful. Yeah. This yeah. is? Yes. There's like five people watching. <laughs> Wait, you perform. There's at least. At least. You least perform six. in front of tens of people. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Just you. Not Just you. You're you. not even mm-hmm. this. It makes me very sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so Amazing Race out the thing. Dwight, you're up next. Who are you taking off the list? All right, so... This does not get easier, by the way. No, no it does not. Um, I'm going to take off Hollywood Squares. Uh, yeah, that's oh, fair. That's, good call. that's fair. Hollywood that's actually, Squares. I forgot. I didn't see that. Yeah. It's, uh, stuck in there. It's extremely boring, and it's repetitive. And it really is like you... The best, the best yeah. person on the show is like the the left, the left center. Yeah, one, and they never go to that. And person. they're, yeah, it's like it's Hollywood Squares because they're supposed to have celebrities, but yeah. it's like who are these people? But the fun, well, even then, the I've never seen Kesha person. on the show. It's not on anymore, is it? I'm so tired of Whoopi Goldberg. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Being the center well, square. Watch your mouth. Oh, oh, okay. Well, she saved the show. And ah. frankly, she's also a black and woman. And yeah. Okay, well, traffic. you're really hurting yourself. Look, I can say that I'm the most progressive person in the entire world. That is true. You have a black man and a white woman on your show, yes. right? and a black cat. Yeah. And that only took 18 episodes to do that. <laughs> uh, can we? Is there a way we can uh, block Dan Bates? <laughs> uh, uh, John, I would say in the butt. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you want to block your brother in the butt? No, no uh, we're I know. Okay, okay, well, I, I, yeah, I'll block my brother in the butt. And <laughs> you guys think I won't? You I are know. aggressive. You guys, I'm very so aggressive. Weird uh, okay, I, I'm up next. And, I, you know, I looked at it, and this is going to be another controversial takeoff. Okay. Wheel of Fortune. No! Oh, I'm removing oh, yeah. Wheel of Fortune. You're doing that because I did Amazing Race. No, I didn't know you liked Wheel of Fortune that much. The oh, reason I'm taking Wheel of Fortune off the list is because uh, it's not that hard a game. Yeah. It sure is. <laughs> Why is it hard? How is because it hard? of the speed. You gotta be. You gotta. <laughs> first speed. of all, you gotta. Yeah, because you've gotta be. You have, they like have twenty-five seconds to answer. No, first they to have say like, a letter. <laughs> And you have the time to spin and wheels. No, 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 no. They have, first thing they have, there's three rounds that are speed rounds. The and they speed just start throwing yeah. up. You got to know. But then you also have to handle both the wheel spinning, figuring out what, you know, you should, which ones you should be calling, which has more letters, right? Are there more L's or N's? I don't know. 
And then you have you do to do know. Because there's you can re- see it. There no, you, what white white boxes? Yeah. There is a re- it's a it's a repeated game over and over again throughout the show. I can't watch. And then another thing is rewatchability. Could I watch ten episodes in a row? Yes. I can't watch oh. before the ten I episodes can't. in a row. Oh. I'm about to leave the show, frankly. I, <laughs> I watch Wheel of Fortune every day I can. I don't think it's that common. I have a lot of trivia saved up. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, what trivia do you have? Well, Popular doesn't mean great, right? right it is this, one of the it, most popular. But it is That's great. That's special comics who haven't made it say. Right. <laughs> yeah. You're looking for more of an alt? A more of yeah, yeah, I'm looking for yeah, a, a, a theater yeah. show, small theater shows. Right. Uh, I identify with the weakest link, so I'm still oh, yeah. torn up about it. So what the trivia do you know about Wheel of Fortune? Well, do you know what it <laughs> was originally called? Uh, Fortune's Wheel. No, it was like, um, now here, it's like Shopping Showcase or something like that. What a horrible name. Yeah, and they used to have a alliteration at least. Oh, they used to Shopping have, Showcase. You'd win some money, and then they'd have like a wheel of prizes, and you'd go, I'm going to buy that and buy that, and you had to buy all the prizes you wanted from there. Like, so you win money and then you take that to buy. It was like a uh, what was not supermarket week. What was the game shopping spree? The one that was like a mall. That was it. I think that was the same game. Okay. Got it was somewhat similar because you would they they would like the prizes would go around and you'd be like I want the TV for this much money I want the and then they were like well, that's dumb. Um, <laughs> and rightly so. They Pat, would be I mean, like okay. that's dumb. Mostly we're talking about that Pat Sajak is like the worst human. Like he's just he's just like he wanted to shop be till you drop. That was the name of the game. Um, the shop till you drop. Um, yeah, I Pat Sajak is that like he wanted shop to be till you drop was the name of a show. Yeah, it was like a, they had like eight stores and then you like you'd run up and you had to unwrap presents or you had to do like little mini games in the middle of it. Shop like, till you drop. Yeah. It was like the supermarket suite, but with at the mall. At the mall. It sounds uh, so, so you, much so, you more to, sinister. Than I do love Vanna White. I'll be honest, I love Vanna White. And you know, Vanna has no purpose now because the the, the letters. <laughs> exactly. If, if, if I'm not worried about robots taking over people's jobs, if Vanna White still has a job. Yeah. Well, they tried to take her away, and people were incensed. <laughs> yeah. So, That's Vanna White. Yeah. She was my you first, don't watch for the. She was my first crush. Vanna White. Well, right. I'm gonna tell her what you did. Let's uh, just take. Yeah. Wow. Uh, okay. This is going to make it harder to ask. That was one of my. Now. Uh, this one of my top three. Yeah. for this. Well, she'll see this. <laughs> Vanna White, if you want to go with me to a prom at some random high school, get back at me. Uh, this isn't public, so you'll never see it. It's two ends in Vanna, right? I thought this was public. Or yeah, one. it's two ends. It's a, no, this is. I, uh, I, didn't, I didn't set it up so like that. So it's just our friends? Yeah. <laughs> but I'll make it public and then you can share it after. Okay. So that'll be great. I shared it once. That's enough. <laughs> I'll never share. So it. Wheel of Fortune. Not now. That's fair. Jeff Oske said he was going to share it and never did last time. So <laughs> that old Jeff. He had his old comedy garage to go do. And <laughs> oh man, that's good. I, Kristen Singer, good to call with American Gladiator. I like that idea. But that's so great. When I get down to a final five, I'm going to ask uh, who wants to add one. If you want to stick to the show and add that, we might add American Gladiator. Can we get Wheel back at all? Uh, no. Wheel is dead. Yeah, the wheel is. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> You're gonna throw a cat at me. Yeah. I don't like I this. wanted you to confront her and <laughs> tell her the wheel is dead. Uh, jeez, that cat is a. Uh, I'll tell you. I'll, I'll tell you. Podcast. All right, continuing the show. Wheel of Fortune off the list. We're down to our final. Uh, we've taken six off eight. Uh, Price is Right, Jeopardy, Match Game, Supermarket Sweep, Legends of the Hidden Temple. Double Dare, Let's Make a Deal, and Family Feud. Aaron, what's next? Don't you do it. What's your favorite, Joe? Oh, my favorite was Survivor and Amazing Race. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm actually going to take off the little supermarket sweep. Oh, it's so Good fun. Call. It's such a fun Good show. Call. I mean, the show it's mostly lived on PAX and Lifetime Network. <laughs> yeah, so that's a great call. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I loved it, though. You always got to get hands. Hams and turkeys, but there's a five <laughs> there's a five item maximum so that you don't just stack up on yeah, the hands. Hams on hams on hams. Right. Hams, <laughs> hams on hams on hams. Which on. is my favorite uh, rap song. Yeah. Yeah. Hams on hams, hams on, on hams. 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 Yeah. Yep. When you got a ham on a ham on is that not how the song goes? That's exactly how it goes, Joe. I'm doing the bridge. That's how it goes now. I was reading about the That's the dance as well. <laughs> Ham on a ham on a ham. <laughs> at, at 
first you just got to just keep your groceries. That was like what you won. It's like you're just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was great yeah. prize. Yeah. <laughs> But if you lose, they take back your yeah. cereal. Yeah, you got <laughs> like, Why did they get so many perishables? Right. <laughs> like, what was I yeah. thinking? Um, and they used to the first season, they'd have people dress up as like Frankenstein and, and gorillas and stuff. And then if they go go near you, you'd have to run away. You'd oh, like, oh, Jesus oh, Christ! You'd be like ah. So that, that's where Legend of the Hidden Temple this? got that. Yeah. They took that aspect. <laughs> it's from a very hacky show. Super <laughs> <laughs> just took aspect, of, uh, the worst aspect of every other show, and <laughs> made it a show. Uh, okay, guys, uh, supermarket soup off the off the Swept list. Off. Dwight, what are you what are you looking at? What are you thinking? Oh boy, now this is uh this is tough. Oof. I'm going to have to go with. Ooh. Again, it doesn't get easier. I'm it's going with match game. Match game, game. fun match game. game, fun game. Yep. I think it's the weakest left on the board right now. Charles Nelson Riley made that whole show. The Whoopi Goldberg of the match game, if I may dare say. Oh boy. <laughs> now we're talking. Boy. Uh, also, surprisingly gay. I didn't know that about Charles Nelson Riley until later. I watched the show. Too. I was like, oh, that guy's like, he's, I didn't find out. That. <laughs> then when no one knew, he's just a, it's just right. a fancy guy that so could that's call your him second stuff. childhood crush. Just a light heart. Well, yeah, the yeah. scarf. That was the nicest part about him. I'll tell you, uh, yeah. it's uh, in the closet. And they're like, oh, what is he talking about? And, uh, no, he's gay. Uh, yeah. Charles Nelson Riley, gay. the match game. <laughs> the, mat, the match game. But don't worry, gay. because Joe's very progressive, and it's okay. I heard the gay. cat's gay. He said. I don't know. Although, I'll be honest, I did see one of the cats licking the other cat's asshole the other day, yeah. and I was like, I'm uncomfortable. You gotta see what no, it's about. Uh, if you're progressive, then you're comfortable. Yeah. Well, you just gotta sit there and watch. That's it. a weird, that's a weird it. thing. You don't want to be too comfortable, because mm -hmm. then you're a whole nother thing. Yeah. What? Then you're cat fetishist. Yeah, I'm a cat fetishist. So the, the yeah. line between fetishist and progressive is always <laughs> getting closer very, and closer yeah. Yeah. every day. Yeah. Uh, right. <laughs> uh, okay, we're taking off match game from the list. I gotta be honest. I'm in a weird way. I'm surprised that uh, some of these games have made it this far. Me too. Uh, I am not. I'm not surprised I saw this coming. Uh, is it uh, Nostradamus over here? So Nostradamus. Is it this Nostradamus? Is what I prefer. No, okay. Nostradamus. Yeah. Not well. Well, uh, not saying. You say that. tomato. <laughs> I say uh, Nas is the greatest rapper of all. Uh, Nas. Oh, he raps. Has he got the? Mm. Hail on a hail on a hail. hail. He did the uh, he did the jingle for Supermarket Sweep. Really? Yes. How'd that go? Ham, open the ham, open the ham, open the ham. Uh, open the ham. He's the guy who goes, what? Right? Okay, that's that guy? Uh, no, I don't know what you're talking about. That's little John, isn't Yeah. It? <laughs> what are you talking about? Nas. What are you talking about? That's Nas. That it's like Nas from the Yin Yang Twins. That's little John. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I will say that that's funny, but I did just look at your Spotify list, and I know that's completely bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that really it's complete bullshit. <laughs> Third song is "I Am a God" by Kanye West. That's the most Joe Bates thing I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, uh, I, I, Anthony I, Turner just had a great realization. I, <laughs> No life. The show's helping you. Yeah. Oh man, that's yep. good. Uh, <laughs> this is your this is your hour. This is you take this to the, your psychologist and say, what what does this mean that I watch this entire thing? What does that mean? <laughs> yeah. Right. It's, it's not. Yeah. Then it uh, says stop, Joe. <laughs> Play basketball with Anthony. He also has no jump shot. <laughs> Maybe the worst shot. And I'll tell you it's what. Uh, also, no fear. That yeah, 90 slogan is, on yeah, all those guys. He, he lives that. <laughs> no yes. fear. Yep, watching Alan Iverson commercials on YouTube. <laughs> I honestly wouldn't be surprised if Anthony told me that he was blind after that game. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to see stand up uh, basketball game. I think oh, that's it's probably, pretty entertaining. It's just all shit talking. It's a no lot of breathing. Muscle, right? yeah, it's it's a lot, no, breathing. there's a lot of there's a lot of Sean Latham elbows that are coming in. <laughs> He's a very uh, he wants to win. I'll, I'll take charges. I don't care what you pick you up. Are, yeah. I will take charges left and right. Yeah, Joe, you're bigger than you look. I'll say that. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck gave a sad emoji? That's fair. That's okay. fair. Probably Anthony. Uh, <laughs> anyway, welcome okay. to the Anthony Turner roast. <laughs> <laughs> man, this is tough. I gotta. Ah, uh, man. Mm-hmm. Ah. Uh, 
All right. If I'm sticking, don't with, do it. If I'm don't. sticking with how I felt about Wheel of Fortune, don't do it. Damn it. Don't fucking don't do, do it. it. Don't you do it, Joe? We will stop this show, Joe. Really? I will. It's, sure. That means the whole game is the same thing the entire time. It's the most okay. prestigious game show on television. It's <laughs> the one no you actually way. have to be smart oh, at. There's no way it's. There's no way Legend of the Hidden Temple. It's such a good game. Legend of the Hidden Temple's got trivia <laughs> and physical challenges. <laughs> it's got the best of both. Greg and Winston's the most dad. impossible game in the end of it. Greg Winston's dad was on Jeopardy twice. Yeah, he's yeah. autistic. We're celebrating autism. <laughs> uh, I am. The show has a lot of sponsors. <laughs> Uh, and three people watching it, according to my I, Man, okay, alright. Well, then, this is this is what you're getting if you keep... No! This is what you're getting if you're making me keep that other one. Let's make a deal no. off the list. <laughs> this is... Let's, let's make, make a deal. It's gone. Uh, uh, <laughs> my day has got so... Damn. You had your chance. You, I, you wanted, I would have got rid of the other one. But no, you forced me to draw my hand to pull it out because I love the other shows. Let's make a deal. What's behind door number one? Doesn't matter. You're off the list. Amy. (laughs) Goodbye. Snuff torch. Ham, ham, ham. Do you know why they all wear costumes? (laughs) Do you know why they all wear costumes? Why do they all wear costumes? Because one at the beginning, one person brought a sign that said like roses are red, violets are blue. I want to make a deal with you, and the guy picked him, and so everyone's like, "Well, now I'm gonna get him." And so they started dressing so like, they just started yeah. <laughs> Seriously, no. <laughs> so now it's just a, it's here's more of a my, here's my, show. my issue with let's make a deal now, and I guess I never thought about it in the early let's make a deal, is that I'm like, how are there this many people during the weekday that are just free? Yeah. That's your issue with the show? Yeah, that's my biggest issue with the show. is The, uh, the dress up in costumes at right. 1 p.m. Right. on a Tuesday. I actually know. A you see, you guys, have been in 2006, George W. Bush. <laughs> that's uh, how I was starting. Jesus. Well, here's, it's the same people who go on Crisis Right. Him too. Him too. <laughs> Him too. <laughs> it's a big tourist thing to do. Uh, you go. Right. Yeah, I guess, but I, I feel like every time I've, I've seen that, though, they talk about, like, oh, I'm from LA. Well, there's actually, um, yeah. they. Um, a lot of have a lot of improvisers on the show, comedians, because they know they'll do like they'll be like I have yeah. friends who've been on it. Yeah. So again, that's, a, that's the thing that, with that's, uh, that's against, Aaron's, that's yeah. against that goes even more against. They have they have plants. They always have plants. What show doesn't? Uh, Jeopardy doesn't have plants. Price is Right doesn't have plants. Jeopardy has well, Le- Jeopardy has. Legend of the Hidden Temple doesn't have plants. Price is Right has plants. Double Dare doesn't have plants. We don't even know. They don't like, they have they plants. They don't have people from the audience go up. Oh, you're on Jeopardy now. No, they have. I mean, yeah, all, they have <laughs> plants. <laughs> all it's not like they have people. Uh, you're gonna make the show more entertaining. It's still casting. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's just casting. All these shows are have casting. They have to pass tests. You have to win things to get on the thing. Yeah, yeah. you in Jeopardy, you gotta do both that. You have to like pass like famous few games. Apparently, the three questions they ask you at Price is Right is who, what's your name, where are you from, what do you do? Those are the only yeah. three questions they ask you, and they pick everybody yeah. from there. I read some trivia. So you got, if you have a weird, if you have a really boring job title, <laughs> send uh, your veil. Sass it up. Sass it up. Sass it up. Sass it up. But yeah, let's make a deal. Again, I do love that 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 that, that they have the uh, logic puzzle because of let's make a deal. If it's three doors, you choose door number one. <laughs> the Monte Carlo problem. The Monte Carlo problem. I do okay. enjoy that. I do enjoy okay. that a lot. You always switch. Is it called the Monte Carlo? Is that what it's Monte on? Hall. Monte Hall. Uh, Monte Hall. <laughs> Monte Carlo. Uh, this, uh, this podcast is also sponsored by Monte Carlo. This is the only it's, thing I learned. It's, in Benigan. it's sponsored by Bennigan's. <laughs> this is the only thing I learned in Six Sigma, by the way. It's how oh, really? Yeah. I don't get the Six Sigma thing. They tried to teach me that the other day, and I was like, it just seems like you're saying uh, cut out uh, redundancies. Yeah, yeah, that's what they're that's saying. all it is. <laughs> it's like, okay, well, that's right. the secret. So for this the is- secret is fire <laughs> people that are not right. doing anything. So the Monte Hall issue is that if you have three curtains, to, uh, one has a car and two have donkeys, you pick one, and they open one of the curtains and show that it's it's not the car one, and ask you, do you want to switch, or do you want to stay with your same curtain, you're supposed to always 
stay. Nope. No, that's, no, that's not, not it at all. God damn it. I feel like you didn't need uh, to It feels like you haven't been at 6 8 at all. I feel like you don't understand. You always switch. <laughs> I I'm thinking about my next pick. Because when you pick it, there's 66% chance that you you got it wrong, right? So then when you choose the one, and then it comes down to the two things, then you're more likely to have been wrong than right, so you switch to the one that's... Uh, the, the unfortunate thing is that's not how the big deal works on Let's Make a Deal. You don't get the option to switch. So no, now it's just so it's not even because they figured out they figured out people realize the problem. Right. Um, but yeah, let's make a deal off the list. Also, and my brother made a good point. It does require no contestant skill whatsoever. I don't know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Look, <laughs> sometimes Wayne Brady and Jonathan Magnum, his assistant. <laughs> will give you clues in the form of slam poetry, or sometimes they'll say give make up clues? songs, and they'll give you clues about what the prize is. Give you clues? And if you listen, you can figure out whether it's a real thing that you want or a zonk. Uh, How, are you gonna improv? How are you going to listen when you're just mesmerized that Wayne Brady is singing to you right now? Yeah. Well, you, if you see Wayne, but if you see Wayne Brady, you should assume he's going to be singing at all times. <laughs> so That's true. You shouldn't be, that shouldn't, that shouldn't be a mesmerized. I didn't actually... That's an underrated Chappelle sketch, is the Wayne Brady It's one. not underrated. I don't think people give it... When people talk about Chappelle sketches now, Wayne Brady... We Brady's have different friends. That is in the top five. Ah, I don't know. You got oh. Rick James, you got Prince. Your next episode should be the Chappelle, best Chappelle sketches. sketches. Oh, man. With Jordan Divers and Megan Kennedy? I don't think so. <laughs> Are they your guests? <laughs> yeah, they're going to be my guests next week. Uh, I, oh, yeah. <laughs> let's get... Let's get... Let's, let's get, get us back in here in a month. <laughs> We'll uh, I don't know yet. I've figured it out. Uh, yeah, you almost had it right there. Yeah. Well, not best without. reality shows. Best. Re- uh, I don't want to stick with the TV show. That's fair. Back. I That's think fair. we're gonna have something where uh, something relationshipy. Oh, because they are. Because they're they're. Uh, they're, they're uh, we do yeah, this right. living together. Do they? Yeah, they live together in each other's How do you know their life? Because they're I'm friends with them. This is just so, like, for our you're friends. Out of, you're out of the loop. Yeah. I know. I told you that they That's have a show at their house. In the basement. Who and, they, and they have uh, sex. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> they do. I've never been booked on it. I uh, booked for this month. <laughs> uh, uh, start plugging before the show's over. <laughs> Quick, we got four, we got four watches. Okay, uh, yeah. we're down to our final five, which now we go through the list. And, and guys, I'm going to ask you, the viewers, suggest a game show. We'll add it to the list. We want to suggest the game show. Uh, so I will give you guys a few minutes to suggest it. Uh, and then we'll figure out if there's more than one suggestion what it's going to be. But right now, guys, suggest what mm-hmm. you think should be uh, the best game show. Our final five is Price is Right, Jeopardy, Legends of the Hidden Temple, Double Dare, and Family Feud. So if there's one you think should be on it, feel free. Yeah. And can I say, yes. even though Let's Make a Deal is my fucking favorite show, not <laughs> even game show, but show, I will sacrifice it because I think Jeopardy should be in the top. So I'm, I'm glad that that happened. Gotcha. You're going to sacrifice, okay. you're sacrifice it for Jeopardy. Yeah. I gotcha. I gotcha. I think I probably should have taken one off the list uh, other than that. But, you know, I'm not here to make friends. Mm-mm. That's I'm true. Here, I'm here to make enemies. Yeah. I, uh, That's the goal, right? <laughs> I'm here to yeah. have guests on the show that and I, and act I, like nothing happened. I know <laughs> I know that about you, which is why I'm keeping tight lip. Tight lip? Yeah. He's ready to cash. Cab. Oh, gladiators and Whoa. cash cab. Those I know, are the two good good suggestions here. American Gladiator. Cash you, Cab. Cash Cab is a show I could watch fifty in a row. God, cash yeah, cab. that show sucks. Cash Cab employs um, improvisers as their hosts. That's how they. That Isn't it Ben Glebe? No, there's. Well, there was a girl. Oh, as the people in the taxi. No, there's a new host with a female host. Oh, I didn't oh. know that. Yeah, what's her name? Internet. She's a she's a uh, Chicago improviser. Beth Maluski. Beth Maluski. Classic Beth Maluski. You know, I never met Post her. I've Cash never Cash known Cash. her, but good for her. Yeah, good for her. I, I, can, get, I can get behind Beth. Who was, who's the main... Who's the lady from The Boys? Who's the newlywed lady? game. The Chicago improviser. Hey, Dan, why don't you get... Oh, I'm um, Susan Messing? Susan Messing. Why don't your dad get his own damn... Oh, yeah, yeah my, my parents are watching this, my brother. So we have four Can watchers, they... and they're all your parents and your brother. Well, no, that's one, well, of watchers, one of those watchers is three people. Oh. So we have three other people watching, uh, but people will watch back. They'll go back and watch it. They'll see it. They'll see it up yeah. there and they'll watch it. It's, it's a good episode. You guys are doing a great job. I'm doing the best, but still. Mm-hmm. So we're down mm-hmm. to three: Newlywood Game, Cash Cab, Gladiators. Which one do you guys want to add to the list? American Gladiator would be American Gladiators. Aaron, 
I'm in American Gladiators. Oh, well, I, I it doesn't matter what the fuck I say then. <laughs> American doesn't. Gladiators is added to the list. Do the best. Just because I haven't thought about that show in a long time. Not a boy. American Gladiators. Uh, you probably can't see that. And it <laughs> doesn't matter. I can't see it. <laughs> you can't see me. Royal Rumble tomorrow night. Uh, ham, ham, ham. Ham, ham, ham. <laughs> cat, podcat. Cat, podcat. Pod ham, ham, ham. Podcat, podcat. Uh, Nilua Game is a great game. Just, just the, the, the reference Cash Cab and the Nilua Game. Both, I think, he hates Cash Cab. Uh, but Cash Cab is a good just show in the background, kind of paying attention. Uh, Newlywood game, I do love that. Very memorable moments for the Newlywood game. As referenced earlier, yeah. uh, where's the strangest place you've had sex? I would say, I would say in the butt. You just want people okay. to know you've yeah. had no. sex. Well, that was a response in the Newlywood game. Right? Yeah. And no, so, we heard it the first time. Yeah. Did you guys remember it? Yeah. Did yeah. you remember what I said? No, yeah. I remember when you said it, and I, yeah, and I didn't it. know that that, yeah, that actually yeah. Really my, my favorite part of the Newlywood game is when they have, like, really old people just got married. They're the funniest ones on it. They are. Like well, old people are just funnier in general. Yeah, or racist. I've found that too. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> I find that to be the case a lot. That to be the case yeah. a lot. Uh, <laughs> in every in every uh, religion or race. Like my granddad hates white people. But what about me? But how would What about you? Does he hate Oh you? you're racist? I know that. <laughs> no, but how would he be I'm like progressive? Like he would be great on the newlywed game uh, if he was married. <laughs> I think him not being married anymore disqualifies Yeah, him. that's fair. Also, you can get a plant, though. Yeah, you could get a plant. And then he'd be great. They'd be newlywed. There you go. And then the next game, newly divorced. That, that's a good That idea. should have been like a follow-up. The newly divorced game. Oh, you both get your separate thing. honeymoons? I watch that. Yes, I like that a lot. All right, let's pitch it. Let's okay. write it newly out, divorced we're going to pitch it to the Game Show Network. What do you hate? What, is, what does she hate most about you? And then you have to answer. <laughs> yeah. That would be, oh, yeah. perfect. Yeah. Leaves well, bathroom sink too messy. Slept with my sister. Yeah. yeah. Hurts. Well, well, <laughs> let hurts. me see children. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> right. Uh, okay, folks. <laughs> We've got our final six. Jeopardy, uh, The Price is Right, Legends of the Hidden Temple, Double Dare, uh, American Gladiators, and Family Feud. Right. Right? I didn't have to look at the list of the last one. I can't believe we didn't remember the feud. We're going to go to this one at a time decide whether they should be the top three or not. Okay. Starting with Price is Right. Is Price is Right a top three game show? Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> not even a question. Uh, uh, yeah, it has to be. I think okay. it's... Jeopardy, yes. Jeopardy next, Jeopardy top three game show. Yes. I would say we should go through the list for it. I put this on the cusp. I, think, I would say no. I think that so Jeopardy is the only game show that you seem smart if you actually win. Like, I think if I think if you get on it, you're a smart person. Right. It's the only one that like because the vetting process is so crazy. It's a year long vetting. I mean, but like yeah. like winning on Jeopardy is like you don't win as much as like on other ones. Like unless you're uh, what's his name, Ken Jennings. Right, but but like that's over like days and days and days right. and days. Wheel of Fortune is another great thing about Wheel of Fortune that got its time cut so short. Um, <laughs> yeah. I think anything you win, first, second, third, whatever you win, you take home. Yeah. So that's I think pretty, with Jeopardy, that's, that's clutch. It's the hardest to play along with. Yes. Like if you're doing, if you get like three answers per episode right, you're doing well. Yeah. yeah. For me, like, otherwise you just feel like a piece of shit. For that me, should have. Uh, Stayed in college longer. Like the first category would be like words that start with J. And I'm like, I got that. And the next category is like sailboat, sailboat techniques. And I'm like, yeah. I have no idea. Then yeah. it's like uh, NFL records. I'm like, yeah, I can yeah. do that. And then the next one's like 18th century Latvian literature. And I'm like, well, that's well, what I'm really good at. And yeah. <laughs> but it's just constant. That I don't know if you watch Jeopardy. If you watch Jeopardy like back in the day and watch Jeopardy now, it has gotten dumber. Yeah, but it's still, it's, still like, yeah. I watched it last night. There's, there's still like rhymes. They do like rhyme stuff now, like wordplay, <laughs> wordplay answers. Uh, but you know what? If, if you know, every time you think you have the answer, Alex Trebek changes the question. Dan uh, makes a good point. Uh, unless you're, <laughs> that is a really that's good a great point. point. <laughs> 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 Eliminator! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I can't get it. 
You didn't do that shit when you were a kid, though. <laughs> you're like, I would have. Yeah. yeah, balance harder. Well, I never heard of broomstick. This you're thing, just like, oh, the, yeah. The thing we had to Oh, do, yeah, that's tough. Like, it doesn't make, it does, it's, it's just the herkiest and jerkiest thing yeah. ever. Yeah. Right. Although, I liked it. And uh, Hulk Hogan hosted the new one. Uh, and Hulk Hogan and no. uh, Muhammad Ali's daughter was there. Really? They were both hosts. Yeah. I didn't know that. They uh, they tried to bring gladiators back. And then... Oh, that's right. There was a girl named Crush who was the joust, and she was undefeated. No one ever beat her. Really? One person tied her, and that was a big deal. Jeez. But that girl, Crush, later was in a movie, one of the highest... One of the movies that made the most money ever for an R-rated movie, Deadpool. She was in Deadpool. She was what the, character? What she, she was the bad girl. The, 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 oh. the bad the villain that was the girl. Crush? Yeah. Yeah, super yeah. strong. Not the, te- right. of the teenage... Uh, no, 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 no. The other one, the the, the oh, one that okay. the one that her and Colossus are fighting at the end. Yeah, right. But she, oh, I, you know, I kind of I had a crush on crush for a while. Crush on crush. Yeah. Crush, crush on crush on crush. Crush, crush on crush on hams on hams on hams. <laughs> that's uh, yeah, the that's just, uh, we're just Remix. sampling the same beat over and over. <laughs> Crush on Just, crush on crush. I dig some orange crush. Um, uh, <laughs> but I do love. I do. Love, so I'm gonna say Jeopardy. I know you want it there, but you're saying no. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna say let's go through the list. All right. And if we don't figure Can out, I say one more thing. No. It's the only game show that <laughs> people have to compete against a computer, like to prove like that humans are still smart. Like that's. Like, I mean, oh. Yeah, it's the only game show, but they also have chess. That's not a game show. <laughs> but the, it is weird that we we want computers to like. Are we still smarter than yeah. robots? Yeah. We're, we're making the robot the yeah. intelligence. I know? just feel like if this isn't in the top three, the dumbing down of America is complete, and Trump wins. Well, this is brought by Trump well, for America. So. Well, are you smarter than a fifth grader? Isn't on there, and yeah. that's not even computers. You're competing against the fifth grader. Fifth yeah, it's not that a uh, hard a show. No. I know all the answers, answers. Yeah. so they like, yeah. well, I I just, get on this. But do you think Jeff Foxworthy knows the answers, or is he just like? Uh, I bet you Jeff Foxworthy doesn't give a fuck because he's a huge millionaire. <laughs> do you want to be a Jeff Foxworthy? <laughs> do you the answer be? is yes. <laughs> you win. Is You're Jeff Foxworthy yes. now. Uh, okay, uh, let's continue on the list. American Gladiators top three game show. No. No, I think it's all. <laughs> we added a list. I'm wanting, you added I'm wanting it, to put any of those three of the on the list. I think it's American fun. Gladiators. Remember all their names? Lace? Or Lace. Like Lace? There's Lace and Laser. Laser. <laughs> Laser just with smoke pot. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Laser. He'd be shooting the can. What, what was your favorite what was your favorite challenge in American Gladiators? Oh, it's the the obstacle course where they're like they shoot they shoot me the tennis balls. Like, like, <laughs> I like the ones where they like jousted on like the Oh yeah. The, oh the, yeah, the, the joust was good. Yeah. Like, yeah. Cannonball, ball where you had to just swing and oh, knock yeah. somebody over. Yeah. Uh the monkey the the monkey bar one. Not the monkey, what's it, the rings? Yeah, the rings. Yeah, where you swung on the rings. Yeah. Yeah, I can tell that's your I, favorite. I, I feel you can't feel even like, remember what the fuck well, it is. Yeah. I, I feel like a lot of this was just repackaged into American Ninja Warrior, though. Hamster balls. American Ninja Warrior is pretty good. Yeah, yeah but you don't have to go against people. No, but, but that, that was... You go against yourself. That was... Yeah. A, I mean, go against the course. I got my nieces to watch Wipeout first. Oh, yeah. And then I showed American Ninja Warrior. I showed that one girl who won it, the first mm-hmm. girl yeah. won it. And they were all excited. Yeah. And I wanted to start doing American Ninja Warrior. So, my great uncle... Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, hamster balls. That was a good one, too. You had to get it on the little thing to make the smoke come out. And oh, yeah. Neighbors. I remember. But everyone was just kind of, yeah. or it wouldn't work. Like, it was just, it's always you a fall like, machine. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, that one. And then the, when the tennis Damn ball it, one. Damn it, Blazer. Then when the tennis, the tennis ball one, you always see the guy, like, not try the, like, the crossbow at all. Just like, oh, yeah? I know this works. <laughs> <laughs> just press the button and sh- <laughs> it never worked. So then you didn't get to the thing. It was like, ah, son of a gun. <laughs> but uh, no, it's not. Okay, American Gladiators are going to take off then. Uh, next, and I got to tell you, some people were real rampant for this one. Legends of the Hidden Temple. Yeah. It's a more of a nostalgia thing, I think. They're making a movie out of it. Yeah. I, yeah, you can't make a movie out of Jeopardy. That's for sure. <laughs> They didn't make a. What was it? It was featured in White Man Can't Jump, though. It was. Well, they made uh, some yeah. millionaire uh, who wants to be a millionaire. Yeah, they did. that was basically did. a movie version. Yeah. There was another. There was. What's the? What's the the the, the uh, game over or like? There was a movie based on a thing that happened. It was like a game show. It was really worn down. It, they break the game. Oh, that was the thing that really happened. Yeah, it was a thing that really. Um, happened. A documentary or a movie? It's a movie, but it's no. like it's like a it's Quiz like a perfect show. storm. Quiz Your brother show, goes. Yeah. 
quiz, quiz show. show. That was a, 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 a what, what was the, is that, what was the game? Um, Dan. <laughs> Dan, what was yeah, the all, game? all questions are directed straight to Dan. He, Dan is thank Dan Bates helping us out here. There's a huge rampant cheating in the in the sixties. Not everybody, but a bunch of people were getting so like they'd have three contestants and one would be given the answers. Gotcha. So they would try and rig the money mm-hmm. so they get money for themselves. Okay. Uh all right. Wow. So Legend of the Hidden Temple, we're saying no. Yes. No. Okay. Alright. We're taking off Legends of the Hidden Temple. Sorry guys. I'm surprised. You know, a little hard. Well, you didn't really defend it very well. No, nah, I, 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 I love, I love, the, I love the kids racing. The middle part with the trivia is not great, but the yeah. best thing about the Legends of the Hidden Temple is the last thing, yeah, the most impossible yeah. game yeah. of the entire like. Thing. Right, because you you have to go through every room. Yeah, you have, you have to, to go, go through correct. every room. Yeah, and you have to face three guys. You can't run away. Right, a guy scares the shit out of a kid yeah. who is racing in a time slot that is way too quick, way too quick <laughs> right. time slot for them to figure out yeah. how to go. And they're gone. And yeah. I love that. I love seeing kids you like, scared. You, <laughs> we're, going, we're going back. You like to see people fail. Yeah. And you get to see that all the time. All the time. In Legends of the Hidden Temple. So, yeah. I, a newlywed game, great thing to see people fail. Because they start hitting each other with the cards. That's always good. See, I think yeah. that's why I like so much about Jeopardy. Because it's about the best of us. Just being smart wow. and snooty. Mm-hmm. And Alex Trebek uh, like correcting pronunciation of things. It's and just... My dad hates Alex Trebek. Is it Alex or Alec? That doesn't matter anymore. It's Alex. Is it? Yeah, it's Alex Trebek. That's his middle name, by the way. What's his first name? I don't know. I read that earlier. Frankincense. Frankincense Trebek. <laughs> Frankincense yeah. Trebek. Go with Alex. Uh, <laughs> I can do the show if I change my name. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that, yeah. Alex first Trebek. name, Alex. Frankincense, yeah. don't change. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Tom Brady. You're going to need to change that. Actually, and, <laughs> so far. when we talk about Family Feud, they asked the guy to stop kissing people and having family Richard feud. Dawson? And he's like, yeah. no, that's not right. going to stop. Yeah. Not happening. <laughs> no, seriously. Yeah. He's like, Dawson, don't stop. Yeah. And Dawson, then, and Dawson then, don't stop, won't stop, can't stop, no stop. And then they were like, well, okay. And they took, don't get these lips. And they took a poll, and people were like, we don't really mind it. So they're like, all right, <laughs> right yeah. it's a go. And that's 100 how, people said, they, uh, 80 <laughs> said, don't mind it. <laughs> 19 said they did. <laughs> and one said, bring it on, Dawson. I don't know uh, what they're going on there. Uh, so, <laughs> Double Dare, Double Dare, top three show. I think underrated show. I think it's underrated. Fantastic. Underrated. Oh, uh, Dare, uh, Double Dare. I'll take the uh, physical challenge. I mean, I my I'm agree would be Price is Right, Jeopardy, Family Feud, but I could put those Double Dare. You had an OCD host who hated slime. Hates, he hated it's either, messy it's either Double Dare or Jeopardy. Family That's I, what? I, I'm with you. I'm with you there too. It's yeah. either Double. I think Family Feud easily top three. Yeah. Double or Jeopardy! In what world are these the two choices against each other? In this <laughs> world. <laughs> are we a world of adults and reason? Well, no, we're a world of people that grew up as kids that still want to be kids. This is 2017. We all want to be children for the rest of our lives. Well, yeah. then let's make a deal. Should still be on there because wow. you just saw me yeah. here. Yeah. And then we bring here. Yeah. And then they Holy give you a trip great. to Fiji. Back in my day, let's make a deal. Back in my day, it's on right now. That's the one that's not on. What's in the box? What's in the box? You can have what he can have that red herring, very good fish, or what's in the box? I'll take the box. The box. <laughs> nothing. Absolutely nothing. I do like that Wayne Brady every day. And this is what a, what a god he is. He goes on and says, I "Tiffany Coyne's got a small god. box over there." And he has to say it every day, and he never laughs. <laughs> oh, he laughs. What's inside your small box, Tiffany? He says, and he does it like a goddamn gentleman. He does it like a goddamn gentleman. <laughs> can claim adult and cross off Amazing Race. Oh. Dan bring that, 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 that heat. Dan bring that heat. Dan that wasn't... Heat. Dan? I thought we were on the same side here. Uh, <laughs> you Dan, the answer to quiz show. Dan, did you say that or did your mom and dad? I think that my, my reasoning is sad. Dan? It's not that it's not a good show. <laughs> All right, so I I I I I'm not, I I hate I hate to do this to you, Aaron, but I think for the sanctity of the show, I would actually rather have I think Double Dare should move on to the top. And you, I have about one voice. I think you're the tiebreaker to decide whether which one of the De- Double Dare Jeopardy gets uh-huh. on the show. I'm, I can only say my voice loudly and Double Dare. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, convention, convention. Oh. No, Double Dare. Also, they were making up games as they went along. 
Like, they had no idea what they oh, were doing. Oh, you get to post it using facts and research? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Sounds like a great show. That's how yeah. great the show is, is they were just making, they, they were basically improv in an entire game show. So one is facts. <laughs> they sing? I don't know. So one is facts, <laughs> and one is alternative facts. Yeah, that's what, this so, is what we're talking about. Yeah. This is the problem with America. <laughs> I would like you to know well, that my stepmother wanted facts. me to know that her fa- my father and she very much liked Jeopardy and they went away on this. Well, my parents, and they re- my dad really wanted a newlywed game on the show and you yeah, guys just crushed his dream. I, I don't think that was me. <laughs> I'm sure that was the cat. You said gladiators. <laughs> I'm going to have Hopefully. to say it's got to be, it's got to be Jeopardy. All right, Double Dare off the list, folks. Oh, <sighs> we're down to the final three. We're down to eight. Oh, we're down to a fine. Oh, oh, that one hurt. I got another love double dare. I'm gonna. Be, I do love double dare. I we're we're down to and I, nothing bad about you guys because I get it, but we're down to an unsurprising final three. Yeah, it's not the final three I thought we'd have. No, oh, you thought let's make a deal. I thought I thought, I thought, I thought an be, amazing race. Would I thought be. it'd be Jeopardy, Price is Right, Wheel of Fortune. Ah, uh, Wheel of Fortune, but no, Wheel of Fortune's not because it's a boring game. Uh, <laughs> we're down to our final three. We're down to the sister episode from Wheel of Fortune, Jeopardy. That's right, they are yeah. sisters. Uh, we're down to Price is Right, and we're down to Family Feud. Woo. Now, one game, both two games offered the same thing over and over and over again, and one game has a lot of variety. What, Price is Right? Yes, of yeah. different types of games. But some of those games right. are very boring. So, but, like, Price is Right... I can't imagine getting on Price is Right, getting that showcase, or getting on that the first thing, getting that the, the, the closest without going over, moving on, and they go, your game is Switcheroo. And it's just, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's just, yeah. You know, are those Price is Right or Switch them? Like, well, this right. is bullshit. I mean, right. My whole life, I've been waiting to get on this show, and mm-hmm. I got Switcher fucking Roo. Oh, so that's room, right up your alley. A living, room si- a living room set or a grill. Yeah. To be fair, you still get to spin the wheel. You do get to spin the wheel, which is... That's the most iconic thing in any game show, is that damn wheel. Yeah. Um, but Maybe. I'd be... I'd be <laughs> <laughs> how fucking dare you? <laughs> double dare you. <laughs> how fucking double dare you? Isn't there a game called The Wall now that's just Plinko? Yeah. Is that the one that... Uh, yeah. Chris Hardwick's hosting? Yeah, yeah, Chris Hardwick. That guy's life is going all right. Uh, I like one versus the hundred. One versus the hundred was a new Jeff Foxworthy. He's the thinking man's chef. <laughs> the improv man. Chris Harvick doesn't do improv. No, he's a, he's just a nerd. He's just a nerd. He started the nerdist. Nerdist. No, I know. You I know? know? Yeah. I feel like you, you don't know. You've seen you at comedy. midnight. He does the uh, uh, Talk. Talking Dead, and now he does the Wall. Who is a uh, Roger Lodge? The guy who's blind oh, date. Uh, Roger I love Lodge. Roger Lodge. Nope. He hosted a, a pop, it was like pop-up video for dates. Oh, I remember mean, pop-up yes. video. Yeah. Pop-up yeah. Up video. I saw Hardwick at the, um, hey, at the attic a few months ago. Oh, was it good? Yeah, it's pretty good. Mm, he seems like a dweeb. Uh, <laughs> well, really? I think, I, I gotta, I'll be honest, he's probably not watching. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he might uh, pick this up. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I, I'm gonna, I, I, this is going good. Now, thank you guys for sticking with us and watching it right now. Uh, What's your favorite Price is Right game? Plinko. Plinko Solid. Plinko Solid. Favorite Price is Right game. Is this a showcase count? You like the showcase? I do like the showcase. I like to, I like to watch the showcase. I like to, I like to think I have the prizes. <laughs> she can put herself in the... My, my problem with Price is Right is I'm still stuck on 90s prices. Right. Oh, so when changed. I watch it, I'm like, what do you mean 40000 for the showcase? Yeah. Right. Right. It's ridiculous. Right. Is this a special episode? Right. So I went <laughs> Plus to the a... bidding. Isn't the bidding fun to watch? People yeah. just fuck each other over? No, oh, the five, <laughs> 501. 501! I thought that when <laughs> like, someone does that, but they're not the last one. So yeah. Like, five, right. 501. Oh, and someone's like, 502, asshole. Yeah, like, what the fuck? Yeah, dumb. Fuck. I've been one dollar. And they're like, <laughs> Two dollars. Ev- no, everybody was under that one dollar guy. Like, yeah. Son of a bitch. I went to um, one of the casinos, Indiana Grand, I think, or something, that yeah. had, had Prices Right Live. And I was super excited because I love Price is Right. So I went, and first of all, it's the announcer play. It was like, it was like in their theater, that, that real long theater. You guys have any yeah. comedy there? Okay. And then it was the guy who does the announcing for Price is Right. And mostly they just played videos of old Price is Right right? Episodes. That's hilarious. And then they brought up three people to play uh, three different games. They played the Matterhorn game where the, or the guy like, yeah. yep. then he goes off. 
Plinko, and I think they played... Um, oh, Ladies, do I have four numbers correct? Bing! <laughs> they used to say gentlemen, right? They used to, they used to say gentlemen, oh, yeah. do I... And then it was like, the fuck, everybody doing this is all... Yeah. Ladies. It's all whatever. broads. It's all broads. <laughs> Uh, I also oh. I don't like the the one that you have to step forward or left or right or back. Dice, oh, yeah. dice yeah. game's great. Hole in one. Hole in one. Two. I gotta yeah. say, I piggy bank. I love piggy bank. It's the, 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 one. the bee one. The car, the one where you had the, the they had like little bees. The bumblebee. The honeycomb oh, yeah. one. That was uh -huh. good. Oh yeah. I don't remember. The seven dollars. The decide the numbers each time. How far you off? If you have seven dollars. I gotta say, I prefer Drew Carey as host of Price is Right, too. Ooh, Ooh that's exactly Now we're getting I'm not, no, you're wrong. Now I, we're getting I, I, love, I love Drew Carey, but Bob Barker. Now we're getting controversial. Uh, Bob Barker was super rapey. And. Was he? Yeah. But yeah, he also didn't. Well, he kept. There's a reason there's not so many dogs on the streets. Okay. Drew Carey. Because <laughs> Bob Barker. Because Bob rapey. Barker. <laughs> no, no, God, no! <laughs> Oh God, no! <laughs> this is super rapey. Uh, <laughs> oh God! Uh, Drew Carey's kid was just arrested. I know for protesting. For protesting the deplorable. Okay. The deplorable, yeah. yeah. I guess I'm with them. And <laughs> now. <laughs> I guess I'm with you now. <laughs> and now they've gone really progressive, and they have male models on the show. Mm. They do. Yeah, I'll be honest. I don't like that. I'm sending my males. <laughs> 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 yeah. I'm but sure. what if they were gay, Joe? Would you like it then? Oh, I'm sure they're gay. You're gay? He's very well, progressive. Well, Mom and Dad, I love very progressive. watching this show. <laughs> yeah. but, uh, I'm glad Dwight's here to call me I mean, gay in front of my parents. Remember how Bob Barker, you had to like reach into his pants and get money out? Like, he Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> what show are you doing? What's happening? Uh, Price okay. is right coming uh, for you. Yeah, but what, where else are you going to put the money? What's he going to bring out of his chest? Uh, Wayne Brady has money in his pants all the time. You know what he does? He takes it out himself. He takes it out himself. Wait, he has the person reach in? Yeah, he's like, reach in there. Like, no, you know, I don't remember like, him doing that. I don't remember Bob Barker saying, get in there. Bring it in. Yeah. No, it might have been in the jacket. Save the dogs. The jacket, Save, the dogs. Save the dogs. Get in there. It might have been the jacket, but you have to reach into his jacket and get the money. Oh, I'm sorry. Wrong pocket. <laughs> Yeah, and you have to like kiss him and stuff, and it was weird. It wasn't right, that. Yeah, okay, I right. right. Dan Bates, she's spot on. She, you're call, he, he, Dan, and you are both anti Bob Barker, <laughs> which is funny that he hates dogs. His last name's Barker. Um, anyways, <laughs> could have saw that one coming, <laughs> and I did. Reach into my pocket. Uh, <laughs> okay, so uh, on the, and then we have Family Feud. Family Feud, known for the host of Family Feud, yes. I think, was makes it. Yes. Which is your favorite host? I have Dawson. Party. Oh! Well, <laughs> I think we knew that this. I mean, uh, this <laughs> chasm. Go on. Yeah. Who's your favorite host, Aaron? Decide. Uh, Louis Anderson. <laughs> oh, oh okay. really? I like that Ray Combs killed himself. And. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a lot of. Uh, you got like five minutes on that. Right? Yeah, I got a whole thing on Ray Combs. Yeah. I love, I love that he's dead. Oh, and Alf and Tool Time. Also, not just Alf and Tool Time. Oh, uh, that's right. Uh, Pender, who's it? Pender Schmidt from Seinfeld. The Pender Schmidt, the guy who owned the magazine in Seinfeld that Elaine worked for. He was oh. the Family Feud. Al Roker right. did a prime time Family Feud. Fuck Roker. Al Roker. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> oh, not him, but fuck his Family Feud. Fuck his Family Feud. Not Al Roker. Feud. <laughs> family family feud. Feud. Not family family feud. Al feud. Roker. Uh, Alf and Tool Time was. Alf and Tool Time was the first Family Feud host that just got fired. Yeah. <laughs> like Louis Anderson <laughs> kind of just they separated ways. Yeah, he, he had the whole thing about a gay prostitute extorting him for money. Right. Which that was right. what are you gonna do? You know. Yeah. It, it, Louis Anderson was living in a time where he couldn't come out, and now he just takes comics on the war, on the road and tries to have sex with them. Uh, now, <laughs> that's what he does. You've got to see him recently. I mean, so you can see him. Yeah. He was just in town, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah. Uh, there was somebody telling me that. Uh, that uh, some, somebody went on the road, new open mic comic, they didn't really have the time, but right. Louis Anderson brought him on the road, and he was back two weeks later, and I go, why? He goes, Louis Anderson was uh, trying to have sex with me, and I said no, so he kicked me off the show. Oh, that's a solid idea. So, name. good job, Louis. Uh, uh, Ray Louis. Combs, Ray <laughs> Combs didn't do anything bad. Read your, uh, read your contracts, people. <laughs> <laughs> some fine prints in there. <laughs> some real fine print. <laughs> Ray Combs, the only bad thing he did was be super depressed and kill himself. And Richard Dawson, the only bad thing he did was kiss women. Yeah. Is that bad? Who knows? Now, <laughs> who knows? Steve Harvey. 
A controversial figure. I say Steve Harvey's the second best host of the feud. I would say he's the best. Who has more host highlights than Steve Harvey making fun of? To people? be fair, it's a different time to get highlights. Are you saying YouTube, it's you, are more you YouTube saying, accessible to have highlights from Family Feud yeah. now than it was back then for like Dawson, Coles, and Louis Anderson? Yeah, they, it, they had way harder times than Steve Harvey did. I feel like on Steve yeah. Harvey's this show. Is, this is way more difficult for them. I'm not saying that, but I am <laughs> saying to get viral videos, Steve Harvey's, he's living in the time to do viral videos. Is it like on it's his also, Steve Harvey show show? Doesn't he like make you stay and listen about God afterwards? Not really. He like does. A little bit. No! <laughs> no! Like, not really. <laughs> If you want to stay, you can stay. He said, if you want to stay, <laughs> the doors are locked in the studio. He gives like motivational, like, it's uh-huh. not God heavy yeah. all the time. <laughs> Steve, <laughs> I will say, Steve, so is, Steve Harvey does the most with not saying a word than any other Family Feud host. Oh, yeah. For yeah. sure. It has that, the same look. The look into the camera of just. One time he stopped the show because the lady kept giving the same answer. <laughs> She gave the same answer three times, and he just stopped the show. He's like, listen, uh, I'm done with this. And he starts talking to the audience. And then he goes back, and he's like, all right, I'm going to give you another chance. And she doesn't get it, so he gives her another chance. And he's like, for sure this time. And she gives the exact same answer. I love, I love I also love when he's like, they, they, they go, and they go, and he goes, that should have been on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, 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 great, yeah. On that's, the, that's a yeah. great answer. Yeah, there was a thing recently, like, it was like a white family and a black family, and there was like a game or something. Like right? every episode. And he was like, <laughs> and he was like, it wasn't on, he's like, it's a cultural thing. Did you? Did yeah, you know? yeah, 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 that was a good yeah. one. That, I mean, there was probably they don't yeah. 12, 12 instances <laughs> of that. My thing with Family Feud is, who are the people that they, because it's a, you know, I read it on Wikipedia, it's they call it. People yeah. like they call their mm-hmm. houses like a, like 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 people calling their house. Yeah. And they go, hey, we have some questions of the feud, and then people answer. Who yeah. are the people at home? Unemployed people, uh, uh, stay-at-home moms. What are you talking about? And, 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 the, and survey the, the survey says. The survey. I know, but why do they have to be unemployed? It's the they, middle of the day. People are you know home. When they, people work at night. That's what they call. Home. Nobody calls at night during no, no. dinner. How dare you? How dare you call my family when I'm trying to eat? Exact fucking family feud it's every all, day. Every it's day. Yeah, damn. It's always sunny in Philadelphia, where they went on like the family feud show. Uh, yeah, and family Charlie show. took was one of the people who took the survey. Yeah. <laughs> so they got the yes. one point every time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which one of these do you think shouldn't be in the final two? Jeopardy, Price is Right, Family Feud. Jeopardy. Family I'm, Feud. I'm with Jeopardy. Family Feud is fantastic. It is. It is wonderful. Well, it's two to one. I guess. I mean, Family Jeopardy. Feud, you have to understand even... the culture of America to get those answers. Jeopardy, yeah. you get to be a shut in. But Jeopardy, yeah. you <laughs> have to understand <laughs> facts and learning. Yeah, but who wants to hang out with those nerds? I feel like <laughs> like a piece of shit. At least in Family Feud, they make those people, like, you're on, you're, you're I will the like people laughing in, at the family. They both have uh, sadistic things that I like. Jeopardy, the final Jeopardy, where you have to write an answer, oh, yeah. you're wrong. Yeah. Yeah. And then, you, then bid, bid, like, you bid zero dollars, right. because you know you have no clue. Yeah. And then you try to make a joke, and it's not that funny a joke. Right. And then uh, Family Feud, because you nerd. let your entire family down. I love and you and then uh, th- when you're watching, you're like, this family's dumb as fuck. <laughs> like they didn't have anybody in this family. I, so we're taking. Wait, Jeopardy. I just want to say the best thing about Jeopardy, which we haven't talked about before mm-hmm. you cross it off, and I know you're going to, are those interviews they do with the contestants in that little spot where they're like, so. Oh, yeah. Says here, you yeah. like to study bats. Like yeah. it's just like all, like they write down all of these like when you first apply, right. you just write down these facts for yourself, yeah. and then they're like. They bring them up to you like you're supposed to have like a story about it. You're like, like, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I guess. Like, I do this like, guy studies that. He's gonna be good. This is what I do, the thing I love about Alex Trebek because he'll go out there and be like, oh hey, uh, you have uh, three purple hearts. You have, mm-hmm. you are nominated for Medal of Honor, and you have a funny story about a flat tire. <laughs> you're like, what about that other stuff? What happened there? Oh, hi, huh, you're the first woman to get a PhD at Stanford and Hartford and Oxford, and you like cats. <laughs> yeah. Tell us about a cat. You gotta make them. He's secretly you trolling the humans. You have to humanize yeah. these yeah. people. Yeah. Humanize. Jeopardy people are gods of my league. 
Uh, no, but uh, Fairly at, Feed does great interviews too, though. Look at the all, little crosses it keeps getting. Yeah, oh, no, it's, it's off. You know. We're down to Family Feud and Prices right now. We're down to my favorite part of the episode. Mm. Uh, the vote. And I'm going to start off with Aaron Carr. Your your vote between Family Feud and Price is Right. No question Price is Right. Price is Right has, because it has all the things. You can win a lot. Uh-huh. You don't have to take the top prize to at least go away with something. So you can win. There's like little wins and then there's big wins, right? right. So that's kind of fun. And then it has just ridiculous things. Yes. Uh-huh. And it you do have to have some skill. And I love Drew. That's well, fair. That's good points. So vote for Price is Right. I'm, I'm going to vote next. And I'm going to tell you, a show that, of all game shows, I could watch for 10 hours straight, the same thing, is Family Feud. I love Family Feud. It's such a good episode. And the worst part about it, in my family, even though it, the closeness of us is three kids and two parents, I still think they'd knock me out to bring the brother in line. That's oh. bullshit. That's bullshit. I know yeah. you guys are watching. That's bullshit that you do that to me. They can, oh they, you can apply right now. You can go online. Well, you know, I don't your know. Family. That's... I, they tell me I never apply myself, no. so it's, okay. it's on them. Uh, no, I am voting Family Feud, which means Dwight Simmons. Once again. Guest expert. <laughs> Once again, for the first time. No, no it's a tiebreaker on Double Dare. Okay, well, I, we've moved on. <laughs> you are the tiebreaker. Family Feud, Price is Right, There's a Cat on the Ground. Yeah. Best game show. Uh, Family Feud. Family Feud! It's Family Feud. I, got, I, I thought it. Price is Right was going to win here. I, and I love that it's two different t- host fa- uh, Family Feuds. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's not a, wow. Well, I mean, we're both had different hosts. And we, you know, well, like the yeah. Bob Barker, the, the Drew I, Harris. I That's honestly right. feel like a lot of this was like arguing our like uh, Hogwarts houses. I'm like, but reason should rule the day! <laughs> yeah. And Joe's like, like no. it's fun to watch people fail! Like, yeah. it's fucking Slytherin. Like, I love... Which, you can watch people fail or succeed on Family Feud. That's why I go to open mics. And... Mm. That's so good. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, is this your car? <laughs> 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 Guys, uh, best game show, Family Feud. Thank you so much for watching. I apologize for the, the bid chat failure. Uh, I don't know what's going on there, but thank you so much for watching the show, guys. Uh, this has been Thank You Very Much. I'm your host, Joe Bates. Uh, and thank you to my guest experts for being such a great job. Uh, Dwight Simmons, do you have any uh, Instagram, Twitter shows you want to plug, the website of any course? Um, Instagram, Twitter, Unwell Spoken. Unwell Spoken? Yeah. I always get happy when I get a like from him. I will like your shit. I don't like your shit. So follow know. Unwell Spoken. I'm on, on Instagram a lot. Twitter and Instagram. Yeah. I you know, Instagram. I, I haven't figured it out yet. I don't know how you. It's do just it. pictures. It's just, yeah, I oh, understand. Yeah. But like, yeah. I don't, yeah, too but to get likes. like to get like a following, like some people figure out Instagram like built. I don't understand how. That no, you don't have to get a following. You just look at people's pictures. Yeah. There you go. It seems too hard. Yeah. Unwell too Spoken. Much, yeah. Dwight Simmons. Very Instagram's fun definitely the family feud of social media. <laughs> Okay. Uh, and luckily, Damn, Aaron Carr, uh, do you have a, do you know any shows? Do you have Instagram, Twitter? Uh, um, anything you want to plug? I want always want to plug the Ten at Ten, which is every Thursday oh, at ten p.m. Oh, at just... Morty's Comedy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Cat. Wait a minute. Save me here. <laughs> just jump. Just, just Joe, trust the Dwight. More of a Joe ball. Bates just headline Ten at Ten. I just headline Ten at Ten. That's ten o'clock Thursdays at Morty's yeah. Comedy. We're gonna do another big um, nasty women Planned Parenthood benefit on March second. Last night I did was very good. Very, very good again. Very good. Uh, you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at the ten at ten. The number ten at ten. Number ten. Sweet, yeah. awesome. That's awesome. Check it out uh, at ten at ten. Uh, do you have anything uh, outside that? Oh need? yeah, on t- on Tuesday, come to the Chatterbox, eight p.m. No no cover, and you can see DJ Dangler. Stephen Vincent Giles, Austin Real, and me. It's going to be an amazing show for, yeah, for reasons. Yeah. Some of the, the best comics in the region, uh, mm-hmm. Chatterbox. It's Indianapolis, Indiana, if you're watching. Uh, no, this is not Bitch yet. This is Facebook Live. So, yeah, you probably know, you probably know we're in Indianapolis. Yeah. Anyways, uh, I'm, and I'm your host, Joe Bates. You can follow me on Twitter at Joe America, uh 22 and you can follow me on Instagram at Joe Bates Comedy. And on BitChat.com, it'll be working next week at Joe Bates Comedy. Uh, thank you so much for watching the show. Uh, best game show, Family Feud. Uh, and that's been Rank You Very Much. You're welcome. Have a good night, everybody. Bye. Bye. All right. Family Feud. Not going high